Hello friends and viewers, this is Ghost in the Show, and I'm here to discuss a cult favorite cartoon that some people know about, Bee and Puppycat. So what is the show all about? Well, a 22 year old named Bee met and befriends a dog cat named Puppycat. And since then, they both do work in intergalactic temp jobs to pay their rent. It is a series created by Natasha Allegri who had worked in Bravest Warriors, Over the Garden Wall, and Adventure Time. She was the one that drew and pitched concepts of gender swap version of Adventure Time characters. And thanks to her, there are Fiona and Cake episodes. She was also the one that sang the opening of Fiona and Cake theme song. The pilot was released as part of the two cool cartoon shorts on the official Cartoon Hangover YouTube channel, and the two-part episodes gained popularity. What followed was a Kickstarter campaign that initially had a goal of 600,000 US dollars, but was able to raise 872 and 133 dollars, and funded nine six-minute episodes and one half-hour episode. Season one of Bee and Puppycat was phenomenal. It did have minor changes from its pilot episode, but it kept the original idea. I do recommend watching the series since it is available on YouTube. Season 1 had creative ideas and was able to express emotions. The season finale left us wanting more. It was visually pleasing and the sound used really gave a good atmosphere to the show. I should mention the short tale of how jellyfish were made. It was well animated. The music used was titled Lonely, composed by Brad Sack. The jellyfish was a cautionary tale that worked well in expressing our emotion. It made me kinda sad, really. Why does this make me feel so sad? In 2018, a brand new series was announced to be shown in 2019, Bee and Puppycat Toss in Space. It was originally going to be available in VRB, but no one really knows what happened, but according to this article in Reddit, Bee and Puppycat are still looking for a home. It is either the production took too long and the contract with VRB had expired. To make it worse, in April of 2020, the whole Lazy in Space season was uploaded in Fred Cyborg's Vimeo account. By mid-May, copies of the season were spread around the internet. And by August, the Frederator Tumblr posted that Fred Cyborg would be stepping down as CEO of Frederator. But there is a bright side. By October, it was announced that B and Puppycat would be streamed in Netflix in 2022. B and Puppycat had finally found a home for now. Do hope you will check out more of B and Puppycat and support the animators as well as the people involved in the series. I would be discussing the comic series of B and Puppycat in another video. So what do you think about B and Puppycat? Post a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and insights about the series. Do hope you enjoyed the video, until the next one, thanks for watching.